Hello everyone, Jason here to show you how to create a color wheel in Illustrator in a very, very, very easy way. So first of all, we need to build this color wheel. So I'm using this as representation. And the best way to, use, to build a color wheel is to use the Polar Grid tool, which is nested underneath our line segment tool. Polar Grid tool. Click with a cursor on your artboard, setting a size of 500 pixels five concentric dividers so we have one two three four five the outer ring isn't considered a divider it's just considered the edge 12 radial dividers one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve beautiful click ok there is our color wheel now in order to make each one of these shapes fillable i need to go to my layers panel open the twirly open that group of this object that i have I want to target just the radial dividers. So those are selected. I'm going to hold down my Option or Alt key and my Shift key, and I'm going to extend those a bit beyond the edge of my outer ring. This is something you have to do. I'm going to select that wheel again. Pathfinder panel, and I'm going to use the Divide function. The Divide function doesn't work if those simply touch the outer ring. They have to go past it in order to divide it important or else you're going to end up with very large sections that are not equally divided into segments. Once you select the entire combination, click the divide function, you'll say that they divide and those ends go away. Going back to the layers panel, now we can see that these are all divided into separate fillable sections. I'm going to ungroup, shift command or shift control G, and now we have each one of these set up as its own shape. Now, we're going to fill these with colors, but how do you pick the right color going around the color wheel? How do you know which are the basic colors? Your color panel. And what you want to have when you go into your color panel is you want to set your color options for hue, saturation, and brightness. And the reason why is because hue, saturation, and brightness is actually indicated on a 360 degree circle. You're doing a color wheel, it's a circle. Why is that important? because it makes choosing the colors ridiculously easy. So here, we're going to start off with our hue, saturation, and brightness. And we're going to set our hue at zero, which is going to start us off at our basic red. Because this is a circle and we have 12 sections, each one of these is going to be 30 degrees difference. There's our hue. Next hue is going to be 30. We're going to keep our saturation and brightness at 100. So we're going to do 30%, and then 60%, and then 90%. You get where we're going here. This is going to be 120. See how easy this is? 150. 180. 210. 240. 270. 300. 330, and then of course completing the circle 360 or back to zero. <laughs> it's that simple. And now we've got the perfect spectrum indicated on a color wheel. Next, we need to go and we need to fill in these sections with the variations, Okay, each variation going through. So this is how you do it. If you select the next section going in here, this next one, we're going to go back to our hue. And this is going to be, so we started at 30, or 0, and this is 30. So I'm going to do 30, and you can see that this is 100%. So in order to cut down the saturation, this is going to be 80. And then this, coming in, is going to be 60. So I can apply that color again and say 60. Then I can apply this color again. So make sure I get that selected. These are a little tricky to select as you go through here. Zooming in would probably help. Apply that color. This one's going to be 40. And then this last one is going to be 20. There we have it. Now we have all our variations. Now what you're going to do is you're going to complete this process going through with each and every color, just like I showed you. Starting with the outside color, and then the next outside color, the saturation is going to be 80%. Next one's going to be 60, 40, 20, all the way down to zero of this same color. That's how you create a color wheel. That easy. So once you've propagated this entire color wheel, 
you're ready to go and you're ready to create different variations of this color wheel. So to create different variations of this color wheel, you can duplicate this as many times as you'd like. And the easiest way to do that is to hold down your option or alt, click and drag and duplicate these so that you have multiple different representations of the color wheel. We're now going to take one of the color wheels and select the entire wheel, edit menu, edit colors, recolor artwork. If you're not running Illustrator 2021, you won't see this window. This is something that they've just added. What you'll see is you'll see this. To get to that initial looking window, click on the edit tab and this is what you have. Now this edit tab and the settings here is virtually the same as this window when you go in. The only difference is, is that they've taken out a couple different items. But here, or in the advanced options, all we want to really talk about here is our saturation and our brightness. And we can adjust this. So with my wheel selected, I can choose my saturation. So there's my saturation. And I can saturate or desaturate that entire color wheel. Great. I'm going to go to this next color wheel and I'm going to try something that is going to be brighter. So now I'm going to click over to my brighter and I can go and I can adjust this so that I get more intense saturation, less intense saturation, or go in and do my brightness overall. So there's my brightness. So there's just a quick little tutorial on how to put a color wheel together and create your different hues and saturations.